Okay, hi folks. This is a walkthrough of the Cody build that I put on your Fire Stick. If you bought a Fire Stick from me, this is what it has on there. If you want to get one reprogrammed, this is what we can put on there. When you first start it up, you're going to wait for a few minutes and let it get all updated. Everything's going to try to re-download and make sure that everything's the latest version for you. It's going to go through all the add-ons and you know run all the scripts and everything. Uh, a lot of times, if you've been using it for a while and it needs it, it will ask you if you need to purge packages or delete anything. Always hit OK when it asks you to do that stuff. I keep mine pretty clean, so it doesn't have a lot of that. But if it does ask you, always hit OK. That's helping you. It's going to keep your machine running clean. Now, when you see these little boxes pop up, that means your Fire Stick's updated and ready to go. Uh, live TV is the first section we're going to deal with. Basically, you're going to go through and up on top here, you'll see a channel that you want to watch. Let's say, just for example, you want to watch the Cartoon Network. Uh, they have the UK version and the US version. We'll watch the US version. Uh, click it and wait, you know, 30, 40 seconds. It's going to tap into the stream and you're going to get a live stream of whatever's on that channel at that time. Smell. Dog boy here you can just leave this running all day if you want to. Uh, okay. It'll run fine. Again, you know, with the live TV, the quality really kind of depends on your particular internet speed. The faster speed that you have, the better. But you can go through and there's hundreds and hundreds of channels. There's European channels, there's Spanish channels, there's anything you can think of. Now, if you click on live TV, it brings up a search box thing here. Uh, you can go by channels and look through all your different channels. There's tons of them. Like I said, they're in alphabetical order. You can also look for just specifically news channels, TV shows. If you want to search by that, it'll find it on whatever channel it's on. Uh, movies, sports, or music. Uh, basically, anything you want to watch. They also have a TV guide here and your channel list. Now, on your movies, again, wait till it pops up on top. It'll take a couple seconds to update. There we go. Now, if you go up here to the top, there's all kinds of different most popular movies. These are the things people are watching right now. There's a lot of different cool stuff up there. Usually you can find what you want to watch. Uh, if you can't, click on movies. And you can search by genre, year, people, languages, people watching, most popular, most voted, etc. You also have down at the bottom, you have a search box and a people search if you want to search by actor or actress. You just type in their name and it pops up everything they've done. So let's, let's say, for example, uh, you like Brad Pitt, just to pull somebody out. You type in Brad Pitt. Usually down there at the bottom, it'll have, you know, it's like Google. It suggests something for you. There you go, Brad Pitt. It's a bad picture of him. <laughs> and if you click on the select box, these are all the movies Brad Pitt's been in. Like all of them. So that's handy. Now, if you want to search for somebody else, you can. If you want to search by a particular movie, you can do that as well. Uh, just type it in and it'll pop up. Anyway, uh, my favorite thing to do on the movies is either search by year, which is nice. You can go to 2017 and these are all the movies that came out in 2017. Now, some of these are in the theater still. And if you click on it, you're going to get a cam copy and it's not going to look great. That's not the Fire Stick's fault. There's just nothing out there of it. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. It's a new movie. I don't know if it's still in the theaters, but it was just in the theaters. I'm pretty sure there's a, a decent copy out of it. But usually I wait about a week until it's after, out of the theater before I watch it because I hate the, the movies with the people recording in the theater. I'm not a big fan of those. Now, if it's something I really want to watch... Sometimes I'll go ahead and watch it, but most of the time I'll wait until there's a good copy. And again, you know, with these, some of the new ones, you're not going to get really great quality, but it's watchable. 
This actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, look at this. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's got aliens. They got big green guys tearing down buildings. When I was a kid, I used to draw cowboys and Indians. But, you know, you can fast forward, rewind, whatever you want, and it comes in great. Uh, Planet of the Apes has a new one out that's good. It's got a good copy of that. But you can also go down way back to, let's say, 1953. And you've got the original Roman Holiday with Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn. Let's say you like old movies. Now, a lot of times on these, you're just going to get a standard definition or 720. You're hardly ever going to get 1080 or 4K because they're really old movies. Um, but, you know, you can watch them on demand for free. Give it 30 seconds to look through the internet because this is an old one, so it's going to take a little longer. Because there's not that many people hosting these. There we go. And let it transfer through the menu. And here we go. And there you have it. And again, you can fast forward and do whatever you want. But it looks good for what it is. I mean, it's an you know, old black and white movie. So. But that's kind of cool. Like I said, I think that's neat. Sometimes I want to watch something that's an older movie. But, you know, as you can see, you can go through and they have, you know, all the way back to like the 30s. Or you can watch stuff that came out in 2015 or 16 or the 70s and the 80s, whatever you want. And, you know, you can go by people. Let's say you like a certain actor, Rose McGowan. Click on Rose McGowan and it brings up all of our movies. There we go. And like I said, they've got a lot of different neat ways to search for stuff. What I usually do is if I don't know what I want to watch and I haven't got a particular movie in mind, I'll go to most popular or people watching and it brings up just, you know, the stuff that's really popular right now. You know, let's say Baby Driver. That was a pretty good movie. And again, you just wait for a couple minutes, you know, 30 seconds usually, depending on your internet speed. And don't get impatient. Just let the machine run its thing. There we go. It's going to bring up all your sources. Now, um... This is like the third time I've made this video, and we, earlier I was watching Baby Driver, but since I did watch it earlier, it's allowing me to resume from where I was at it. Uh, it will do that for you, which is kind of nice if you fall asleep or you just want to stop watching the movie for a minute or you have to pause it for a long time. Uh, it'll let you go back to where you were at in the movie, which is kind of a cool feature. I'm fucking sick. Relax. The kid did his job, all right? I ever say that the kid... But anyway, that's Baby Driver. Okay, um, and again, down at the bottom, there's all kinds of different stuff down here. Uh, you can look through that if you want to. It basically does the same thing that the movie thing does. It's just different apps for it. Uh, they also have a uh, there's a 3D movies and 4K movies if you're into that and you have the equipment to watch it. Um, they have now TV shows. It's the same basic concept. Uh, you can look to the top and it's got all the popular TV shows. If you say, oh, I want to watch Lucifer, what's that? Click on it and it's got all the seasons, all the episodes. You just click it. Wait a few seconds and you'll get your sources and everything. And, you know, like I said, there's a lot of different stuff on here, and they're different quality. Uh, they usually say right next to them, was it a 720 or 1080 or 4K or standard definition? But they all look pretty good. Uh, you know, even the standard definition is watchable. Some people are kind of snobby about that. 
you know, they, they want it to be the high def, which is, you know, reasonable. Pay a lot for your TV, you want it to be the best quality you can get. And again, your internet speed affects, you know, the, the, the speed and the quality quite a bit. So you want to make sure you get the best internet you can. You can get rid of your cable and stuff like that. You watch those. Don't worry, I'll answer for you. He ended it. With and you know the TV shows are all no commercials, no ads. Just watch what you want. And again, with the TV shows, you can click it and look through networks, people watching. You know, you can do the TV calendar. You can search by person or search by, you know, the name of the show, and you can watch whatever you want. Uh, music they have all kinds of different music on here uh, depending on what you like they have all kinds of different things uh, usually they'll also have a video of it which is kind of neat um, you know you just click on one of the things you want to watch up there and it'll pop it right up or you can search by radio these are radio stations and stuff that they have uh, soundtracks singles different things uh, you also have tuned in radio down here, Stallion Musica. They have a karaoke thing, which is neat. Um, just click on karaoke night and it pops up the karaoke for whatever song that you pick. There's a huge list of songs and you can either plug a microphone in or just belt it out. It's whatever you want. And it, you know, it does karaoke. That's kind of a neat feature. We had added that a while back. Um, also, they have uh, music TV, music videos, uh, pretty much anything you want. You can usually find something to listen to and just let it run. Uh, there's also a kids section. If you click on kids, you're going to get all the kids movies and kids programming and stuff. Uh, the Lion King, Aladdin, Mulan. It's got new movies, old movies, just all mixed in there. You can kind of just pick whatever you want. Uh, they also have down here cartoons, Bob's Kids, Binky TV, which is like really small kid stuff. And you can kind of just pick, you know, whatever you want to let your child watch. I don't have kids, so I don't go in here too much. They also have a sports section. And again, if you give it a second, it'll pop up. And these are all the sports channels. You can just pick one and watch it. Uh, let's say Boxing Nation. A lot of people like that. And it gives you the live feed of whatever that is. Okay, honey, you play with your monkey while I get you. Uh, if you want to watch the World Series, you can watch the World Series on here. Uh, let's see. Give it a moment. Uh, if you just click on sports and let's say live sports. Personally, I'm a big fan of this first row sports of you. I don't really watch sports, but when I do, that's what I use. Uh, they have boxing, WWE, all that good stuff. Uh, that's whatever's on that today. Uh, let's see. Baseball. Here we go. And let's say you want to watch the World Series starting at 6 o'clock. Uh, they have the, the World Series pregame, then the game, and then the postgame. Uh, this is all on Fox Sports 1. So that's how you do that. Uh, you can also watch tennis, rugby, pretty much anything else. And that's just one add-on. There's a lot of different add-ons in here. I personally use that first row sports, but you can use any of them. They all have different things. Uh, they have live TV also for your pay-per-view events and things is in here. Now, the pay-per-view, you can do it. You can watch it. I don't guarantee that or promise it because it's 100% illegal. I don't, I don't suggest doing it, but people do it. Some people do it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, fitness moving on. They have all kinds of different fitness videos here. Different uh, fitness gurus. They have all their stuff. Uh, you can also click on fitness. You get P90X, uh, the Focus 225, Insanity. Again, personally, not a big fitness guy. I like steaks and potatoes and things like that. So, you know, I'm not a big fitness person. But they have all kinds of cool stuff on here if you're into that. Uh, documentaries. They have all kinds of documentaries, conspiracy theory stuff, red pill. You know, there's all kinds of neat stuff in here. Uh, I click on documentaries and of course it goes to your search stuff. 
new additions, origin, society, technology, inequality, delinquency. These are all different, you know, documentary channels. Uh, they also have video on demand. Uh, they've got the learning zone, which is really neat. Uh, let's say you're into the YouTube videos, the, the tutorials for the beauty and makeup and stuff. You've got tons of stuff in here. And each one of these has like a separate section where you can go through and look at it. And they're the makeup tutorials you see on like YouTube and things like that. Uh, also, they have business, uh, accounting, finance, marketing. These are college courses that are, you know, live that you can watch. A lot of times they're from like MIT and, and you know, prestigious universities. They also have like Adobe and it teaches you how to use Adobe, Photoshop and all that good stuff. Computer programming, you know, there's all kinds of neat cool stuff on here where you can learn things while you're watching TV. Uh, they also have a cooking section that again has tons of stuff. Uh, appetizers just to, to start out. They've got all kinds of different neat tutorials for cooking. This is one of my favorite features of this because there's a lot of cool stuff like your math. You can do out like if your kid needs algebra, you know, college algebra. There's all kinds of different things. But you know, again, just something neat that we added. Cooking channel, they've got all kinds of different cooking shows. If you like cooking shows, they just made me hungry. Uh, they got Fox News, BBC, USA Today, all that good stuff. Uh, you also have a stand-up section. The stand-up section has pretty much anybody you can think of that does stand-up. Anybody from like Robin Williams. Hold on, we'll get to that in a moment. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm not re-recording this. Anyway, uh, Robin Williams, Louis C.K., uh, Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, just all kinds of Richard Pryor, you know, the old Eddie Murphy, the delirious, you know, all the way up to like Kevin Hart and people like that. They also have, uh, you know, Saturday Night Live stuff. There's, you know, Eddie Griffin, you know, Cat Williams, almost anybody you can think of. Uh, they've got the puppet guy, Jeff Dunham, you know, Kevin James, there's, you know, all kinds of different comedy. And if you go down to the bottom, there's a lot of different add-ons and stuff. And like I said, play with it, and, you know, check it out. There's all kinds of neat stuff to do. Uh, this is the adult section. I'm not going to go really into that too much. If you, if you request this, I can put it on there if you want adult content. Uh, there's no way to shield it really uh, from your kids. So, like, I wouldn't put adult content on there if you have small children or if you have people that are going to get offended by that. But there's a ton of stuff if you were into that. Uh, just let me know when you order it and I can put that on there for you. Now, standard, it doesn't come with all that. So if you do get offended by that, don't worry. It is not on there normally. Um, now, they have People Are Awesome down here on streaming, which is kind of neat. It's a lot of really cool videos from like Twitch and YouTube and stuff like that that just show positive, you know, stuff. Uh, you also have the, space, the Hubble Space Telescope app. It's got a lot of neat space videos and, you know, informative stuff about the Hubble Space Telescope. And then you have your app section and uh, the system section. Now, the app section basically is all the different things we already went over. And they're just here where you can see them really easily. Um, now your system, I wouldn't go into this too much. It's going to show me your build version. Uh, right now we're at 7.5. Uh, the speed tester is the only thing really that the end user is going to need. If your machine's running slowly or if it's not, you know, finding sources for things and everything else like that, a lot of times it's an internet problem and you can check it with this. Uh, it'll basically look through and find your speed and you know what your ping is and all that good stuff and that's important information if you're going to call me and tell me that it's not working the first thing i want to tell you to do is go to this so if you do that beforehand a lot of times that'll save you 10 minutes of call uh, you usually can't get anything below like 30 megabytes per second if you're operating it below that you're going to have a lot of trouble streaming and you're not going to be able to watch live tv hardly at all um, right now, my download speed is 70 megabytes per second, which is pretty decent. Uh, my upload is 5.74. That's not going to matter. 
uh, and your ping matters a little bit, but not really. Your main thing is your download speed. Uh, after you get done, you just close that and go back and you're back to normal. Now, there are some things in here that you can do to kind of change the look of the, the stuff. I, I wouldn't really mess with that too much, but if you really just feel like messing with it, you can you know change the, the color schemes to different things, uh, you know, and then it's just small little changes. But uh, anyway, uh, if you let me know, you have special needs on that. If you want like a larger font or something like that, I usually can help you out with that. But uh, basically, that's that's my build. Uh, if you like it, you know, they're a hundred bucks. If you get one of my Fire Sticks, if you have your own Fire Stick and you just want it programmed, that's a forty dollar deal. Uh, you know, it's forty five with the adult. It's a little extra trouble for me, um, but. Like I said, we can get you fixed up. It's no problem. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me in the comments or hit me on Facebook. It's Mike Brosnahan. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like it and comment if you'd like to.